Welcome everyone back to our next instalment for you today from Steam Executive. I'm here with Mahesh Trivedi. Hello Mahesh. Thanks. And my name is Sean Donovan and we're going to be talking to you today about how you can magnify your potential. And this leads on from some of the other discussions which we've had in our prior talks. So Mahesh, if you'd like to fire away, <laughs> uh, just talk a little bit about how how our friends can magnify their potential and what that means. Yeah, uh, the simple definition of uh, potential is like a your abilities to to achieve or uh, accomplish something with your natural talents, skills, experience, or your capacity to expand and grow. But uh, magnify your potential is a steam executive very strategic vision that you can achieve certain things in your life whatever your your dream goals and everything in spite of obstacles and distractions because distractions are mainly coming from individual because they distract from one to another thing mm. and obstacles come from external like the road closed mm. or detour mm. they have to take another way so magnify your potential is like a, a slowly in a small chunk you step by step it's like a uh, if you want to play the golf okay initially you can see that you are making quite a good progress in a in a one year time but after eight or nine years the 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 the, the growth is not that significant mm. because that goes in a different level of mastery mm. and you can become golf master mm. only when every step and every day you are magnifying mm. your potential well i'd say that uh, with um, with music actually yes. with music teaching because there's any number of people start mm. and it's very easy to do that initial sort of level you know the preliminary and the sort of first grade and that sort of thing it's a very yeah. easy level to get to but then it starts to get harder yeah. the, the grades two three really from four up which is quite difficult and uh, you know there's a lot of excitement enthusiasm at that prelim level and that first grade level and usually you know the examiners when they examine they give a good you know because they're trying to encourage yeah. The students, so they give a high mark. You know. Yeah, but then <laughs> hit the wall, and it actually starts to get more difficult. And of course, the results are uh, correspondingly more difficult to get because uh, if you're not at that level, they simply won't pass you. You know, and a, you know, a pass mark is like seventy yeah. percent. Pass marks not fifty percent. <laughs> and I remember there was an audio track. I forget who did it now, but it was uh, an orchestra, the, the conductor of the orchestra, and they played the the first couple of bars of the Shenandoah. Right? It sounded magnificent, you know? <laughs> and and then he said, "This is why in music we insist on having sort of you've got to be perfect because." Yeah. He said, "Now we're going to redo those few bars." Yeah. Except. Each instrument, let's say there's, I don't know, 50, 60 instruments in the orchestra. Each instrument will just play one wrong note at yeah. some point. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So only one each right, yeah. in the whole. So that's each one, not very high. Uh, yeah. If you, let's say it's 95%, each one playing at 95%. Yeah. So they play, <laughs> and it sounded <laughs> dreadful. It sounded mm -hmm. terrible. And much like a school band, you know. Yeah. A school band typically they you know, you can tell what the tune is but it doesn't sound <laughs> real good. But that was his point. He said, you know, to make music and to play together you've really got to be yeah. accurate and together. And to, and what you're saying is that a lot of people they stop at that yeah, you know, oh first level, oh, yeah, you know, I can do this but they don't then go to that next level and really realize that potential, really magnify what they can do. Yeah, and I think exactly what you are saying is about 
uh, having a mastery you know like a mastery in a particular skill particular field uh, particular things which you really passionate about so most people look back um, on their life at some stage and wonder that what they could have accomplished in their life you know like a uh, there is a some popular book is there five regrets of a person who is you know like a, about to die i i don't remember the author's name but um, you can avoid that kind of regret by choosing to become the best you can at something which it matters to you most so like i would just ask uh, everyone that have you failed to capitalize on a like a vast reservoir of potential that you believe that it is very much like a lurking within you or are you willing to see how far you can go then there are many variables and odds are against giving maximal efforts each day and it can be interesting to see what you can accomplish if you try with uh, steam executive very very strategic module um, with a four steps uh, and those four steps are uh, number one is focus and focus is assess your strengths so your greatest potentials will involve um, one of the one or or more of your natural talents and um, you build strengths on that and most strengths can be applied in any endeavor um, with a focused approach that's why focus mm. so uh yeah so yeah. just on that um yeah. you brought along this yeah. is, this is from when actually I posted a thing um uh, a couple of weeks ago I think I see I came across <laughs> or popped up <laughs> on my my feed you know yeah a photo when we were running our um workshops face to face in the pre covid <laughs> days um cuz all bad on mine now but <clears throat> we had a whole bunch of material and this is um this is one of the little flies yes and yeah. you can see yeah this talking about strengths yeah this is the area of strengths just yeah. here so the things you enjoy the things you're good at but this intersection here yeah of our little diagram that is what you want to find mm. where that that intersection is between yeah those things you enjoy and the things you're good at yeah. and then once you know those or once you identify those yeah. how you focus yeah your efforts so our workshops Yeah. So there's any number of programs or will do that strengths yeah listing or discovery for you but where our program is different yeah is that it helps you with that focus of what your what strength you're trying to use what strength you're trying to focus on and also in terms of the coaching it comes to understanding what what that actually means what that strength actually means so that yeah. when you try to focus you're actually doing something that's purposeful I've seen any number of people they get their <coughs> their strengths list from they go off they pay their fifty <laughs> bucks or whatever it is yeah. they do the the test and they get this thing yeah. and they think oh you know I'm I'm this right yeah. and they say I'm going to apply this but they actually don't understand what this actually means you yeah know? Uh, so when they are trying to apply it when they're trying to focus it they're not really quite understanding what it is that the thing has said that their strength is. Mm-hmm. yeah so that is the the things which you explain that makes them they become the person they are mm-hmm. like they must be like like we we consider that whatever we think or what people other people believe of us that we think that is what we are but it's 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 is far from the truth mm-hmm. the the what you say that the uh, there are certain things which are really easy for you and which you are naturally very good at so that is the step number 2 actually mm-hmm. that you become the person you must be and basically you 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 think that what you enjoy doing and uh, what activities actually cause you to lose the track of the time like mm-hmm. sometimes when you lose the track of the time that means like 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 you are flowing 
and that is another thing like a uh, steam executive we believe that that if you are if you are not having a a, a state of flow mm. that means either you are worried mm. or you are anxious mm. or you are fearful or you are in mm. doubt and all these things are a self made obstacles mm. and your own distractions are also there trying to read the messages um, checking the email unnecessary mm. so many times and basically so that also is <laughs> away from the focus <laughs> these, these things are the great distractors <laughs> yeah <laughs> get rid of these if you want to get them done uh, so, so get rid of those. i don't know whether you've noticed just read this as an aside folks there's yeah. been heaps <laughs> yeah. of ads <laughs> yeah. on the social media for the last little while last yeah. <laughs> month i'd say suddenly there's all these ads yeah. for these things that look like um basically poker machine game things on the social media and it's interesting that um, <laughs> the the government is looking to regulate them because the, the negative effects they're having on people yes you know, very much um, very much they're using that same sort of gaming thing but yeah. what you were saying then too about um, people being in the flow yeah. again in, in music I'm thinking in sport yeah in any creative activity yes um even you know programming and computer stuff um things where you're when we talk about this when you get into the the groove if you like or when you're just in that zone yeah um that's when you do your best performance when yeah. you're sort of basically the mind yeah is <laughs> is not getting involved in a sense if you've, you've practiced to the level yeah. that uh, the body just does it so and then you can like in music we talk about feeling so yeah. if you just feel the music and you have the technical dexterity you've done the work to be able to do it in sport it's the same thing mm. you you just can visualize mm. uh, be it in swimming yeah. so one of the things we say uh, like when you get up on the block you know you look down the <laughs> down the tunnel as it were like what am I going to do where am I going you know? and so when you're swimming if you're not sort of really you might have a have a, uh, a like a uh, plan for how you're going to swim the race but you've trained that and so in a sense you're not really conscious of what you're doing it's just it's more or less uh, um, subconsciously happens and similarly in something like football mm. uh, there's a sense of being able to see the everybody on the field at one mm. time so you just get a sense of mm. where people are and and you know uh, you know I'll kick there and you're not having thought like oh you know there's a guy there and there's a guy but you just have that that vision of the field and that's that flow that you're talking about mm. and that is possible with our step number 3 that if you practice every day on once again focusing becoming the person you must be or who you are and then if you practicing every day um, on what you want to accomplish so everything goes forward depending upon the decision and what decision like a with your commitment because mastery requires commitment you know so commitment to develop yourself mm-hmm. commitment to overcome obstacles commitment to 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 avoid uh, distractions mm-hmm. <laughs> so because as you say distra- distractions are the enemy to progress mm-hmm. that means you can't move forward so so that is that is very important and yeah. um, and, and and sometimes we so a couple of, sorry just a yeah. couple of our earlier videos that yeah that link in people yeah. I'd like to go back and have a look at. Yeah. So one was the curiosity to commitment. Yes. So yeah. people might have curiosity but yeah they don't get to that level of commitment. commitment. So yeah. go and watch that video. Yeah. Um and the other one I'm just trying to think what the name of it was now. Um it was about procrastination. Yeah. Not just being called procrastination but 
um, we we looked at that issue of procrastination, which prevents you. Mm. You remember procrastination yeah. means forwarding to tomorrow. So yeah. Basically, you keep forwarding everything to tomorrow and never get anything done. So, and, um, overcoming those. So yeah. go and look up those videos on our our, our channel. Okay. Yeah. So all of these three steps actually um, before going to the final step uh, of uh, strategic uh, steam executive strategic uh, um, this this plan to magnify your potential. Um, I just want to um, uh, emphasize on one thing that we normally tend to under, underestimate the importance of knowing ourselves. So many of us go through each day reacting to the events and just getting by rather than making choices based on who we are or what we want. So one of the most common remarks um, our STEAM executive um, coaching program participants and um, the people who attend our programs, they, they, they always leave um, this comment that now I truly understand and know myself more. So I now respect my model of the world. That means through my lens of positivity, clarity, and you know like a, a, a self-worth, self-respect and a completely believing that who I am to, to contribute to, to this world in, with whatever talents and strengths I have. So, so that, that, that mastery requires commitment and you, you also have a confidence by feeling this important factor about your own self because you are the player. It is your life. It is your game. Okay. So uh, you can meet other people's expectations. Like if you are on a project, then you have to deliver the things on time, deadlines and other things. But like whatever you present uh, yourself to the world, you must have a confidence about who you are, what you really like, what you really enjoy, what are your values you know, like uh, what you are standing for, because there is a proverb that if you don't stand for something, then you can fall for anything. So, and then, then you can't magnify your potential. Right. So, so the yes, yeah. that's very true, yeah. and so much uh, yeah. you see it. Not, not it's not just a recent yeah. problem. It's it's been yeah. sort of forever, I guess. Yeah. Where <clears throat> you know, people look at there are certain individuals who they take as a role model, be yeah. it in, in business or sport or whatever, and they think, and maybe they're successful, maybe that person's successful. Mm. So I think, oh, I will emulate that yeah. person and then, you know, I will be successful too or I will do what they do. You know? yeah. But um, there's nothing to say that they're successful because <laughs> they are that way. Yeah. Um, probably any number of people who aren't successful who behave the same way. Yeah. <laughs> so to look at that individual and say, oh, well, oh, you know, I'll wear the black turtleneck sweater because they wear the black turtleneck sweater and somehow that'll make me successful. Yeah. Or, you know, good in the long term uh, is a silly argument. And, um, you know, it's different people have said it in different ways. But basically, you know, it's your life. Stop wasting it trying to live someone else's life. Yes. And so you need to find find your thing, and yeah. um, and there's a lot of peer pressure to conform mm. to certain societal yeah. things. Um, probably, you know, now more so than ever. Um, but heck, you know, <laughs> you need to be honest with yourself and say because you won't be happy basically if you're, if you're living someone else's life you're keeping someone else's thoughts in your head mm. and trying to conform yourself to to that then you're not being um you know who you're meant to be and uh and so you'll constantly be i've seen other diagrams where they sort of draw a line around you know, so you have to try and build up this big line around yourself to try and this is what i am um but the truth is the breaking down of that line, the dissolving of that line, so that it, in fact you become 
you know, in the flow you become you know, the, the real deal as it were. Yes. And uh, Sean, the last uh, most important step uh, in our uh, st- uh, steam executive strategic model for magnify your potential is a embrace change because you can't reach your ultimate potential without a coach or advisor or some coaching program, uh, whatever you prefer, face-to-face or online. So, uh, STEAM executive, um, face-to-face and online programs for coaching, uh, that will help you embrace change because you can create new behavior by knowing yourself. Because we just we just explained the model, how you can achieve it. So get to know yourself and uh, um, basically, interestingly, most of your patterns of emotions, behaviors and beliefs are largely unconscious. And they are just simply a part of what we do and how we act and how we behave. So uh, once again, um, we also have... uh, uh, a, a book published uh, they are also being offered as a steam true blessings and uh, in that we magni- we show that how you can magnify your potential uh, by eight different ways okay so quickly they are like a connect and collaborate reflect and visualize create and celebrate and give and grow so our program uh, the model is uh, definitely goes a deeper and reach higher um, based on that you can overcome real challenges of you know like a of your everyday life and um, go deeper means like means going to the root of the matter or the circumstances and practicing regularly with gratitude gratitude with whatever you have like whatever talent you have whatever resources you have whatever support you are having. So your brain develops um, a a more positive perspective on things and situation in your life. And by adopting these new positive habits, uh, you can live a richer and more fulfilled life. And you will become more aware by these eight different ways that need to be experienced and with deeper understandings, this experience are felt on a deeper level and that will give you alternate ways, you know, to move on from your stuck or confused state to reach your desired state with a complete clarity and total confidence, okay? So, our programs have been designed for more than seven or eight years and we have been practicing this for more than 10 years Um, the book has been published uh, in 2012 so uh, on this 10th October it is 10 years 10 years and yeah (laughs) yeah 20 of 20th of October yeah so this month of 20th of coming up birthday yeah birthday (laughs) And one good news. We'll do a special thing. Now it is available on a Google Play Store. Yes, yes. It's a big news yeah. in ebook as well as audio book, and it is done by Google, yeah. so yeah. with their artist. So and also yeah. when you there, we have the True Blessings program, of course, as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, each day of that we call it the 12, twelve days day challenge. Yeah. Each day you get a chapter. Yeah. Of the book as well, in yeah. that so. You can buy it online, yeah, through Google Store. Yeah, uh, you can get it via doing the workshop, which yeah. also comes with some, you know, questions and so forth, to and videos to um, bring it all to life. Uh, so many ways to enjoy the true blessings. Yes, yes. I think uh, that's all for uh, today. For more. Uh, more on this program and other programs simply visit teams-executive.com mm. and register yourself and start your journey with uh, discover your strength flourish grandeur and true blessings we have got multiple programs fully mm. self-paced with a 
with a with 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 a so many self reflection questions and don't forget that self self affirmation is very important to magnify your potentials you know like a like i magnify my potential i am strong and successful i make choices that align with my values you know like that way i manage my time i surround myself with support like a simple i evaluate my progress i try new things okay so today i work hard and stay positive striving to fulfill my potential gives me life with more meaning and i happy i i i i really feel happy and content that's all mm. that's all from steam executive mm. yeah so one other little thing then um and we don't normally ask but i thought i've been watching some of these other videos and i always ask yeah. again they always say remember to subscribe to the channel yes and like and share the video so yes. if you found any of this uh, entertaining or interesting um then remember to subscribe to the video uh or to the channel yes um there might be a little bell as well i believe that you yes. can click on so that you get notified of new videos as they appear yes uh and remember to share and enjoy yes <laughs> so, <laughs> so share and enjoy and we'll see you again next time yeah thank you